Hello ladies and gentlemen, International Compendium 2016 was released today and we have first treasure one for this compendium and I'm gonna look inside on six items that you can get from it as well as one rare, very rare and one ultra rare items. So let's start and I've been asked a lot if you should get the compendium or not and I think honestly I was debating myself and but I ended up getting it so it's up to you guys but I'm gonna give away one of the items that I'm gonna open. So we have Omni Knight Hammer that calls a Doring Wingfall and it's a cool looking hammer. Later in this video we, we're gonna look into all effects of these items but for now you just can enjoy how cool it looks. And it has, as you see in the small icons, it has custom animation, custom ambient effects, custom effect, which means it's just a spell effect I guess, and custom sound as well. So. Uh, Weaver has a Crimson Peak, which is uh, kind of helmet for our out of space friend. And I don't know, it's like a shield. Anyone, no one actually can properly address it right now, but as you can see, it looks uh, pretty amazing. And in last year, the other item was released that customized the attack, I think, animation. So this one customized the movement, the, the, the second skill that Weaver has. So let's go to the Timber Saw, who has controlled burn and it's basically arm that changes the animation for the pool effect that you have when you play the hero it's it looks great but the animation the game it looks even better uh the enchantress definitely people are gonna love this rainbow uh, scepter that uh, they gave her uh, as again as we all know the previous years she got the the cool helm so it all comes uh, it all looks great together. So, Virgus Arc is one of the coolest items for Enchantress that a lot of people are gonna like. I cannot stress out how much I adore this uh, toad. It's uh, like a fortune cat, it's like a Chinese cat that actually, when it moves, uh, it starts like shaking hands faster. It's super adorable. I really want to have it. I think it's one of the best items. It's can be like item of a year or something like that. And the last item that is definitely you can get from the treasure that is uh, in a normal rarity is uh, this scepter for Phantom Lancer that calls Phantom Concord. It changes uh, his Q. It's again, it has all customizations that you can Im just imagine. So the delay between the treasures was one month and they took this month to maybe not even a month, they maybe took like uh, half a year to develop all these items to create them and make sure that they work properly. So as a rare item you can, you have a chance to get Solar Forge and I know that one of my friends who has right now level 140, 50 I think, he already has this helmet and it has pretty cool animation. Um, so I don't play Phoenix much but I really admire how cool the animation looks. And the golden tot is even better than the normal tot, obviously. So, the coolest juggernaut ward that was released in a long time. Uh, as an ultra rare, you can get a scepter for uh, faceless void. I'm pretty sure in the second market it's gonna be cheaper after all because the first treasure is not as rare as the normal one. No, no, the other two, sorry. So, if, if you're gonna look at the distribution level, you're gonna see that to get the other treasures you have to basically be at level 98 to the time when you're gonna get the second treasure but for the first treasures you're getting them right away with uh, 15 levels that you get so anyways also I want to talk a little bit about uh, the quests that grant you now cool items new uh, the mythical sets I think but this is a clink set that you can get. It has two different styles, and I really, really like it. So, um, as well as, uh, how do I get back? Um, let's go quests and view all path. In the path of warrior, you can get a set for Ursa, and again, it has like two different styles, two different colors. I'm not sure what's the difference between colors, and yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. But what I was excited the most was a set for a wind ranger where she has like a fancy half like she, she her head is shaved in a half she has nice hairstyle amazing bow uh, all this armor so i honestly desire this set the most so 
uh, let's go back to this store and open my treasure, the one I have. Uh, and wish me luck, guys. Whoa, whoa. The golden one? No. Hell yeah, guys. Okay, cool. But because I promised, so I'm gonna give it away. This is your lucky day, guys. And okay. Uh, let's see how it looks in game. Because why not? I bring my blade. So I decided to do like a quick show off of the items. And this is a cat. It has sound effect. It also, as you can see, when it moves faster, it waves the hand increases. faster. Also, it just looks phenomenal and adorable. And it has also like he different healing effect. We will. So, Piel has cool animation for his Q. It's hard to see, but overall it looks different, you can As tell. Phoenix has a different laser effect. That looks like the coolest laser you have seen in Dota, obviously, so it's awesome. Faceless Void has a new drone animation, I go. it looks just awesome, and also has like nice fading effect that I like a lot. Enchantress has a new attack animation yeah. where her scepter for attack looks like a rainbow. Skip ahead. Timber so uh, W changes to this beautiful fire thing. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Even if you miss it, it makes you still feel good. Beaver's W also changes to kinda of cool one. It has a particle effect. It's awesome. Omni Knight's Q now looks just phenomenally good. It's gorgeous and also helps you to see the range of your AoE. As you can see, I cannot let's hit for shit. That is all for today, guys. Just subscribe, like, as always, and go follow the link in the description to participate in the raffle. The winner of the previous raffle was announced under this video. And as always, Good luck, have fun, and happy Dota! God Zeus!